So good morning everyone, this is Barry Overeem from The Liberators, and right in front of me is... Yes, Alvarez, also from The Liberators, of course. Yeah, and we are shooting this video because we were asked uh, the question, so what is the value of liberating structures for people working with Scrum? Yes, and I'm standing here with the Scrum framework behind me, and it might tell you something already. We feel that liberating structures are a really nice way to spice up your Scrum events. For example, sprint reviews. That's often one of those events that evolves into just a demo, nothing more. But we believe that the liberating structure shift and share is a nice way to shake up that sprint review. In a shift and share, you have multiple stations where groups of people share their uh, experience from the past sprint with each other. So a simple way to do a sprint review is to invite members of your development team to man different stations. Each station picks a topic and all the stakeholders are invited to tour the various stations. It's a really nice way to very quickly share the experience of the previous sprint. Um, another example is uh, the sprint retrospective. And for the sprint retrospective, you could pretty much use every liberating structure there is. There are over 33 of them, and many of them work really well. But one example is TRIS. In TRIS, you basically ask a team, so what can we do to achieve the worst possible result? So a nice way to use Trace is to ask a development team or a scrum team, what, is the, what can we do to guarantee that our next sprint will be the worst possible sprint ever? And now if we're completely honest, what are we already doing that looks like that or is going in the direction of the things on that list? So what is it that we're going to start doing? And another example for um, the daily scrum, which is something that you do every 24 hours, is called what, so, what, now, what? What so what now what simply asks development teams, what have you noticed in the past 24 hours? What does it mean? And then finally, so now that we know all this, what's the next step for the next 24 hours? So these are just three simple examples of how to use liberating structures within the Scrum framework. And Barry and I really love doing it. It really expands your toolkit. If you want to know more about liberating structures, a really nice opportunity in South America is a series of liberating structures immersion workshops these are two-day events, really cool. Keith McCandles is going to be there, one of the inventors of liberating structures. You can find more information on the website estructuraslibradoras.com. We'll put the URL in the comments. My Spanish is not that good, sorry. Um, but it's a, a wonderful opportunity to really dig into what liberating structures can do for you. Enjoy. Cool. Enjoy exploring it.